Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll be talking about when will Amayu make his move. This is an adorable show. It's one of those uh, comedy, slice of life romance kind of shows. And the ones that I really, really enjoy. So let's get down to it. So this is about first year Amayu, who... Uh, quits the kendo club in order to join a illegitimate shogi club. And by illegitimate, it just does not have enough members. It's uh, basically only this girl named uh, uh, Urushi. And she's the president of the club. President in air quotes because it's not really a club yet. And she is a master of shogi. And she very much enjoys having uh, a new partner to play with. Uh, so Amiya is a upperclassman, or no, sorry, my bad. Uh, Amuyu is the first year, and Urushi is the second year, so she's the upperclassman, my bad. Uh, but he is uh, trying to get better at Shogi, doesn't really have much experience at it, basically a total noob and all that. And so Urushi attempts to, you know, mentor him and be a role model for him to learn the game of Shogi and get better at it, you know. Um, however... <clears throat> Amuyu joined the Shogi Club because he has a huge crush on Urushi. Yeah, so that's why he joined. Because it's uh, just him and her in the little club room kind of thing. And uh, he made this decision that once he beats her at Shogi, he will confess to her. That's his kind of goal, goal there, you know. And... Uh, he also, his character, as you can kind of tell from his uh, face here in the screenshot, he's got one of those like stoic, not really expressive, uh, sort of like deadpan personalities, right? Uh, meanwhile, Amiya, or not Amiya, uh, Urushi, she has a very bright and happy and cute and adorable personality, right? And I keep trying to say Am uh, Amiya because I know someone with that name, but anyway. <clears throat> The two of them enjoy their shogi life together as their students, and they do various things. Uh, episode 2, for example, had a sports festival in it, uh, for example, that one. So I'm assuming it's going to have other things, not just shogi all the time. But for the most part, it is literally just like them flirting while playing shogi, from what I've seen. Where uh, Amuya, Amuyu, Ayumu, goddamn, Ayumu. <laughs> These fucking names, man. Okay. Ayumu, he will, uh, like, just bluntly say that uh, Urushi is, like, adorable and cute and stuff like that, which causes Urushi to get flustered and whatnot. And Urushi tries to get revenge on him by trying to get him to admit that he likes her because she can pretty much sort of tell, except he's like really deadpan. And so she wants him to make his move, essentially, because she also appears to like him as well. Uh, so it's just basically him wanting to beat her in Shogi so that he can confess, and her trying to get him to confess by uh, like making him like flustered or something like that, right? Or just kind of goaded out of him, you know? So it's a very cute back and forth. There's also some very adorable side characters um, and their, like, romances going on between them, which is cute. And it, it's just all around just a absolute adorable story. Very, very cute. And uh, I love it. Yeah. It's really great. Not much else to say about it. Like I said, it's one of those slice of lives, so I can't really pick apart much. I mean, they're, they're in a school building. Or they're walking home a lot. So there's nothing too exciting for the setting-wise. It's just uh, their expressions and interactions is what makes the story really adorable, you know? So let me know what you all think about this one. Because it's going to be an amazing ride for me. It's going to be adorable. And uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. So thank you all for watching, everyone. And next time we'll meet... I think it's the last anime which would be Black Summoner, which uh, I think its next episode comes out tomorrow or Sunday. So uh, 
check that one then, and I'll discuss that one. And that'll be the last of my anime first impressions. Impressions, impressions. Anyway, thank you all for listening. I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.